quickest fix to the internet I've ever had. Hopefully this one will stay, but I'm going to put my phone where I can actually see things. Uh, if anybody is there, would you type something into the, uh, into the chat just so I can test this? Alright, awesome, I saw that. Thank you very much, Mega Drive. So let's solve the goddess statue puzzle. Okay. So there's no going back that way. Awesome. Random ass room. Gunpowder, a save station, some shotgun shells, awesome. Definitely needed that. It should let me back into the police station, because I haven't met Mr. X yet. So it's it's got to let me back into the police station, excuse me. While we're underground, I don't think we're going to need the wooden boards, so I'm going to put those up for now. Plus, let's use this gunpowder. There we go. Twelve more rounds for the pistol. I hope there is a... I hate the damage... Or, sorry, not the damage. The upgrade system, but I hope that there is an upgrade for this fucking pistol's damage. Because shooting zombies in the head is surprisingly not that powerful. Um, and fighting games, if you're still there, uh, this game looks awesome, and yes, Lisk did give you a sub to the channel, definitely if we see him again at some point, give him a thanks. Uh, I did play the original. I have played pretty much the entire Resident Evil series, with like one or two exceptions, uh, but like the, the main series I've played all but seven. I've definitely been looking forward to this remake. Can I continue down? Is there is there a good reason to keep going down this way? Are there items that I can get? Yes, there is. A hand grenade. That's the other thing I don't like, is they've replaced a lot of the ammo that you could get with, like, with consumable objects and breakable items. Just like, that's... That is definitely something that I am not a fan of. Just... There's a hand grenade here. Here's flashbangs that for some reason work on the undead. Also, here's knives. They wear out after a while. the hell was that? Hey, MLG. How you doing? What the hell was that? Yep, knives have durability, Resnick. Despite the fact that knives in every single Resident Evil game ever has been infinite. Birkin. Oh god, Birkin. Oh god. Oh god. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, no, words won't work on any of the shit you've been dealing with, boy. Uh, ammo, yes. Please, ammo. 
Give me that. Perkins coming around that way. I think I need to go that way. I admit, Birkin looks awesome. That is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Oh god. Okay, this is this is definitely definitely a full-on boss battle. the goddamn grenade. Oop. Come on, dude. I need to lure you into swinging. And grenade. No choice. Gotta take it down. Leon, why do you sound like what I imagine Justin Bieber sound like for the first five years of his life? Hey, fighting games. Yeah, no, I... I know, Mega. I know. Which way? It's going that way. So, uh, fighting games, I, I answered your questions a bit of shit. Hold on. Items, 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 items. Give me more ammo. And go back. Don't get caught. I do definitely have some cool viewers and some cool friends. Liska's Lisk is a really close friend of mine. I've known that guy for years. Oh shit. Come on, buddy. Come on. have played all of the pretty much all of the Resident Evil series there are a couple of exceptions but uh, for the most part I've I've if it's out there I've played it I, I have not played Resident Evil 7 I intend to but I played the entire original trilogy I played uh, four five and six We're going three or six now I've played dead aim outbreak file one and two um, there's another in there somewhere that I've played. Where is he? Shit! Hi. Get away from me, fucking freak! <laughs> you live Arby's Super Mario Maker game? That, that says so much about you, Resnick. There we go, got him. You better have left my knife on the ground there, buddy. Hi. Somebody's watching. 
I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Whoa. Where did where did that come out at? Was it over here? No. It was probably like right over here somewhere. Yes, there it was. Gunpowder, awesome. A mechanic I still fucking hate. I understand not being able to find items on enemies, but this whole, hey, find, uh... What was it? Find gunpowder to craft your fucking ammo and just waste space in your inventory. I fucking hate that. Just fucking give me ammo. I'll have to look up uh, John Stewart's segments on making fun of Arby's because I don't I don't remember that. And I watched quite a bit of John Stewart. Both John Stewart and John Oliver. I I especially love John Oliver. That dude is amazing. Another hip pouch? Holy crap! I'm gonna be able to carry everything all at once at this point. that, store that, combine that, store that. Uh, let's see, take the good combat knife, because that fucker stole my other one. So let's see, this is going into the parking garage, isn't it? Oh yeah, John Oliver is amazing. The only people who like that guy are the people who don't like his actually in-depth reporting. Hi, undead doggies. I hear you. I will say, if there is anybody whose investigative reporting and just general sense and intelligence is absolutely amazing, it's not somebody that is on, like, late-night talk shows, but, um, go look up at Stone Kettle on Twitter or Jim Wright on Facebook. Uh, they're the same person. But Jim Wright is an uh, ex-Navy officer who was in charge of uh, intelligence gathering and, and uh, just basically in charge of intelligence for like 20-something years. And that dude has some really fucking good sense and really good reporting and just in general he asks some amazing questions that nobody else ever fucking does. Ada, Claire, anybody? Thank you. Hey. Who is that? Stay sharp. <laughs> oh, poor puppy. Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. You made it this far. 
P.I., huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. I agree. None of these people hey, or doggos deserve to, uh, to deserve to be infected, but especially the doggos. Really, if Umbrella hadn't fucked with uh, William Birkin, then none of this would have happened. Like, absolutely none of this would have happened. some zombies. Here's some dogs, actually. Is that... Is that a blue herb? Please tell me that's a blue herb. That is a blue herb. Awesome! I can go back to the box and, uh, or I can find a box and improve my max health with that. Oh god, do I really only have... I only have three bullets. Okay. Uh, so Birkin is one of the primary, like, three primary people from uh, Umbrella Corp that basically came up with the viruses. Essentially, you've got three people. I forget the first guy's name, but you saw him in Resident Evil Zero, and he came up with the progenitor virus, which was the first virus. Uh, then you had Birkin and Wesker, and Birkin came up with the, uh, T-Virus. But then Umbrella got super fucking greedy and assassinated Birkin. But, as they were assassinating him, he injected himself with the T-Virus. He then went on a rampage, killed all the soldiers that assassinated him, and left their bodies in the sewers, their infected bodies in the sewers, where they were eaten by rats, and then the rats spread throughout Raccoon City and infected the entire city. Let's see, red herb. There we go. It reduces damage taken and go- oh. Really? Really, it reduces damage taken and guards against poison for a short period. The way they described it in the herb mixing thing, they were talking about, like, increasing your max health. I'm kind of disappointed now, because I've been holding on to these green and red herbs for a while just for that. I, you know... Part of me feels like I should take the Samurai Edge, just because it's it's the it's the deluxe weapon, and I know it does more damage. But yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like that's that is essentially Resident Evil in a in a nutshell. Is it's the Black Plague, except that greedy corporations caused it. Let's not go there just yet. I don't have ammo, and I really, really need to find some ammo. There we go. Seven rounds, but I'll make do. Police station basement map. Firing range might have some ammo. Let's go check that out. Hey, Hugh. How's it going? And get it right. It's X gonna give it to you. I'm doing alright. Laughing at uh, some of the bad things about this game, but otherwise, decently impressed. Is, is that really... Hold, hold, hold on. Yep. Yep. 
that was that was one of the that was one of the things that they had that you can shoot to do in this game that shouldn't have collectibles. See, there's the thing though. It, it's a good remake, but they didn't improve on the problems with gameplay. Like, to, to give an example, in the original Resident Evil 3 games, zombies were understandably tough to take out, but that was also because you weren't really shooting them in the head. If you watched where the bullets went, you were shooting, you were doing like chest and arm shots the whole time. If you let them get close and aimed up, you shot them in the head and it took like three shots to take them out. That was it. But, in here, I can fucking empty two clips into a zombie's head and it's gonna keep fucking going. The only way that it won't is if I get super lucky and blow its head off with the first shot. Vent key no longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Key to patrol car 7 whatever. Box! I got a box, guys! As well, you've got some other stuff in here that is just really fucking stupid. Okay, no, we'll see, Hugh. It's, it's not about causing the massive craters. It's more doing damage to the brain. Even from the very first game, they specifically said that if you shoot them in the head, it does the most damage. It takes them out. Because the bullet travels through, causes massive damage to the brain, and it stops their functions. Whereas here, I can almost completely destroy most of their head, and they're going to keep going. Yes, and that kind of a situation is an outlier, and you know it, Hugh. <laughs> Most people who get shot in the head do not wake the fuck back up, and you know that. <laughs> Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, and that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. What? What? Um. Did I, did I just do something really, really bad? By, uh, by shooting that, that toy? Diamond door. Also, I don't care what anybody says, Leon sounds like a fucking asshole. Like, he sounds like what I would expect any of these, like, teenage pop artists to have sounded like for the entirety of their lives. Shit! There's the thing, though, like, even back in the 90s, Leon's voice wasn't this teenage. He, he definitely was not as, he definitely wasn't, like, Matthew Mercer doing a deep voice, but it, it's, this just sounds like some fucking pretentious teen that, I would have fucking hated but thought that their music was the best or that they thought their music was the best. Can't go 
it that way. What about this way? Nope, that that is a locked door. Well, no, Leon really isn't an asshole. He really hasn't done that much that's asshole-ish. After all, he sat there with his police, with his lieutenant, that, uh, with his lieutenant that was clearly infected, and he was like, no, I'm gonna get you out of here, we're gonna take you to a hospital, and we're gonna fix you up. Some high-grade gunpowder. I feel like I should take those out, but I really don't have the ammo for it. Hey, Sham! Thank you for the subscription! Resnick, those dogs are infected. Don't, don't tell me what to do. I mean, Hugh, I, I think it was both. <laughs> So, to be fair, before this point, nobody fucking had, a, had any real clue what zombies were or how to deal with them or how the infection spread. It was... Now, he figured it out. It was obvious he figured it out. But he kept going because he wanted Marvin to live. So it was a combination of him having no fucking clue what he was doing and just generally being a decent person to his superior. Yeah, welcome to the stream, and thank you very much, Sham. I will not go to the Abyss or to Hell, but thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Name of deceased Justin Hansen, male, Caucasian, 39 years old, found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. So, dude bro has an item that I need. That's what I'm getting from that. Or they just straight up hid red herbs in here. That's, that's a thing. Well, yeah, dead, bro. Eh, you know. <sighs> Fucking Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Jesus Christ, the size of those cockroaches. I know there were infected cockroaches and things like that, but holy shit, the size of those things. Nah, I... I don't have the ammo to be wasting on that shit, Resnick. If I could close it, I would, but... Hold on. Okay, I can. Yeah, there we go. The ambience is definitely good. They they did the ambience right. I'll give them that. Oh, here's Klepto Man, I think. Just gonna take care of that while I can. Really? Did did I do all that just for a flashbang? I sincerely hope not. Why is this empty? Okay, so that's not gonna open. Hi? You just just stay down. Just stay down. Go back into your fucking place and just stay in there. Just 
take care of that before it becomes an issue. Ah, he had the diamond key. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Where the hell did you even come from? S are you fucking kidding me? Just fucking die. Just die. Fucking Christ. I'm glad that first zombie was like, he freaked out because he was scripted to do so and then died because I stabbed him a whole bunch before I pulled, before I grabbed the item. Well, I mean, of course. After playing a ton of No More Room in Hell, a sledgehammer is so much more effective than a knife. Puppies are probably gonna break out here, so I just need to go. the locked room over at the firing range. Are there any zombies in there? There probably is. No? Okay. Ah, another roll of film. Okay. Another red herb. And I've got space for like one more item. So, back to the parking garage, back to the chest so that I can deposit some of this shit. Where was... it was over here. I've heard that. Yeah, I, I gotta find the... I know where the dark room is. I have to get back into the police station to get there. Oh, what to get rid of? Do I have any gunpowder? Nope. Okay. Store. To develop the photos for evidence? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Take that out, combine with that for shotgun ammo. But yeah, they have the, uh, they have the dark room so that they can, you know, develop any photos of crime scenes and things like that. So, we'll put that away for now. That bent key will be useful. Yeah, 1990s, man. Early 1990s at that. Okay, so there is a patrol car whose trunk I can get into with this bent key. Excuse me. Is it that patrol car that's just, like, sitting out there? It probably is. I'll keep that key on me for now, though. Nope, you can stay down. Thank you. Just stay the hell down. <laughs> I see the zombies are still locked in there like they should be. Oh, fuck you, zombie. I don't want to waste a fucking piece of ammo on you. Why is it not taking any... 
fucking annoying ass thing. Ugh. Hi. Let me guess. You you didn't do it. That you were you were falsely imprisoned, right? That's the excuse you're gonna give me. Is that truck driver from before? You're you're breaking. You're trying to break through the wrong area, sir. The door is to your is to your right. Fuck that, I ain't opening those cells. I definitely don't have the equipment for that. I don't care how necessary it might be to open these cells. Fuck Hello? that. Hey, I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, Iron Sentry. Irons. You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. Might have been the same thing to him, I guess. Hey. I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. <laughs> Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Hi, Mr. X. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Shit. Who is that? It's just me. Guess I can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information. Yeah, that's Ada. Investigation. So what he said was true. Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Uh, no, actually, Resnick. Not not in this one, I believe. Although I'm not... <laughs> Once again, they're changing yeah, fucking parts wrong. of the story, like the fact that Ben and Ada were dating. At the very least, Ada called Ben her... her boyfriend. Technically, none of them. I... yeah, I don't, I don't think she was ever the cause of any of the Resident Evils. Power panel is out. I assume everyone knows what this jail's power panel is old as hell. We're gonna need these custom power panel parts no one makes anymore. There should be a few in the generator room. Fix the bell in the clock tower. Should have another. Someone swipe. I mean, ask him nicely for it. Simmons, yeah. Ada was not a, was not the cause of that. That was the clone of Ada that Simmons made, who was the cause of the events of uh, of some of Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, it was some weird cloning thing. The same thing that they did to uh, Deborah, Helena's sister. But for some reason, the clone of Ada got to keep... Like, didn't turn into a total monster, whereas Deborah did. I don't know. It's fucking weird. 
where am I going? I probably have to use that, uh, that thing to open the cells, don't I? Where am I going from here? The generator room is over there, but I can't get to it. Yes! Uh, the sister was the one that, yes, it was, it was that boss fight. got the diamond key, but none of these power, none of this power stuff is opened up. Yeah, that was, that was a very uncomfortable boss fight. That was just unnecessarily weird. Okay, there was, I'm gonna try opening the cells. That's, that's the only thing I got right now. Still got two shots. There were three zombies, so if I do this right, like that. Or can I? Nope, can't stab them through the bars. But I can shoot their heads off through the bars. There's no power. That makes sense. Well, that's not the problem. I already cut one zombie's arms off, and he was still able to bite me. And I have nothing. I have zero ammunition. I gotta, I have to find a way to the generator room. Hopefully, oh, I bet I know what's gonna happen. I need to go and heal and save before I head to the generator room. I'm betting that Mr. X is going to make a full appearance once I try to go for that generator room. Store that, take green herb, take a mixed herb. Since I have the space for all that shit. Uh, no, there's some blockage in the hallway, and I'm betting he's gonna break through that blockage. It's going to be fun trying to get anything done while being chased by Mr. X with zero ammo. That's what I needed the crank for. Okay. Just from that angle, I was waiting for something to be there. Search the room for... Stop fucking giving me gunpowder. I hate that shit so much. Because there's no way... There is no way you're just gonna combine some fucking gunpowder in your inventory and actually make bullets. If we're gonna talk about realism with, like, knife durability, then I have to have an entire fucking press as well as bullet casings in order to turn this gunpowder into bullets. There is no way that I'm just sitting here making fucking bullets. Alright, have a good one, fighting games. Thanks for stopping by, man.
there's a zombie like right around here somewhere. That that is his official title, but the game also gave the original game also gave him the nickname of Mr. X. Yeah, you you are right there, Mega. Or Mega Drive. I'm gonna need to see the proof of that, Resnick, because I Shit. Because I distinctly remember him being called Mr. X. What the fuck just hit me? Nope. Fuck you, puppy. Yeah, well, wiggies are not always right. Remember that. Hi, puppy. Bye, puppy. Nope. Go fuck yourself. I still don't believe you! Oh fuck, all the puppies. Oh dear Christ, all the puppies. Ow. Go, serpentine maneuver! I'm not damaged enough to, uh, to warrant that. I'll admit that that was a little tense. I like that. That was, that was what it should have been, but mostly it was that because I didn't have ammo. Was there another fu- There was another one back there. No. Repair dude. Repair dude for the clock tower. That's, that's what they were saying. Okay, so he's gonna be up that way. So I gotta get back through the parking garage. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be annoying. I still don't believe you. I refuse to accept facts as they are presented to me. His name is Mr. X and that is what he will always be. Come on, heal. Fuck you, puppy. Bye other puppies. Bye other puppies. Because my feelings on the fact that his name is Mr. X is more important. My, my nostalgia is more important than your facts. And that's why you can't just change his name like that. Oh well, we're back in the uh... We're back in the police station. There's another blue herb. No, you! Shut up, Resnick! You don't know what you're talking about!
We are such a pair of dumbasses right now. Or rather, I'm a pair. I am a dumbass right now. <laughs> oh man, some ammo. Yay. Now let's waste that on the first fucking zombie I see. Another electrical part. Okay. Oh, you. You. <laughs> Magnum ammo. <laughs> I know, right, Mega Drive? <laughs> oh, hey, it's Mr. X's hat. Uh, I don't have a Magnum, but I feel like I'm about to get one. So I'm going to hold off on getting rid of that. Okay, I can barricade some of these windows, so I'm going to grab the barricades and pre-board pre this stuff up. Pretty much. You, I mean, he says switch off, but it's usually Resnick that's being the idiot, so, you know. Nope. Go fuck yourself. You're not getting through. Shut the fuck up and just kill the fucking zombie already. Can I can I have my knife back now? Game, you said I could retrieve my knife once the enemy was destroyed. Can I have my fucking knife back now? Fucking course, the dude bro's back. Um, okay. Was there handgun ammo down there? Whatever, I'm gonna go down and get that. But I need to get past these fuckers. I'm just gonna let that zombie eat. It seems pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with it ignoring me. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that happen. fire is still raging and the you know whole place hasn't burned down by now uh let's see there's the art room i don't have the book for him yet well I've, it's in the safe uh the safe room so down there hey marvin i'm back are you still alive Oh, oh! I th I think he's dead. <laughs> yup. Oh no! I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. <laughs> I mean, you won't. But um, good, good whatever there. Uh, roll of film. I need the red book. I don't really have any other, like, super special things. I don't know how to use that spare part. I have no fucking clue what that's for. Wrong series. I mean, it's Resident Evil, but I really don't consider the, like, 4, 5, and 6 to actually be a part of the main series. Despite the fact that technically they are. 
I refuse to call that shit part of the main series. Left arm with book. Use. There we go. <laughs> well, you're going to have to be confused as hell then, Resnick. Awesome, I have no idea what I got that scepter for. Um, I can open this. <laughs> Some of these puzzles were hilarious, yes. Okay, crank is used. Of course, there's another fucking raccoon. They said it was super dangerous to do that, but um, I'm going to keep doing it because, I don't know, fuck the raccoon? I don't know. Poor Sherry would be so pissed off at me for saying that. That's the heart door. More high-grade gunpowder. That family was kind of fucked up. Not gonna lie. Leon, stop talking. I really don't want to hear your little quips because your quips are not good. Is there a thing that I can do for that? That's fine. So basically, Hugh, there was this thing on Twitter I'm not going to I'm not going to mute all of the voices, Resnick. But uh there was this thing on Twitter where uh this one lady was having trouble with her husband's family and it was because they used these mouse figurines that they specifically called Timothy to communicate. Like literally they wouldn't talk unless the mouse figurines were there. There was no, no like, indication that these people were, you know, m mentally impaired or anything like that. They were just fucking weird. I'm a weird person, but that was weird even, even for my tastes. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Damn it. <sighs> Great. Great. The water is... That is an incredibly well-placed pipe there. I'm, I'm just saying. It's very lucky. Okay, so this is the other side of the fire. 
Um, I'm not gonna grab that red herb. I don't have. I don't really have enough space for it. The fuck is that? you and I can't do anything once they've done that son of a bitch fuck it oh my fucking god how many goddamn bullets do you need fucking Christ just die Fucking found all of this ammunition, and I'm already down to five bullets again. And I, I don't think the other one is down permanently either. I think I'm just waiting for him to get up. I'm about to find out. Yep, yep, he's still up. We're just gonna deal with that. Okay, that's just a tool part. Cool. More bullet subsistence. Okay, um, can't wait to get that magnum. Hey, club key, nice. Like, this is even more bullet subsistence than the original trilogy was. The original trilogy, I'd at least have something left over. I'm fucking running out with every fucking encounter, though. Mostly because these fuckers just won't die. Hold on, there, there is a way to find out. Nope, there was nothing else in that room. There is, I can get into the interrogation and the observation room now though. Or no, I can get into the uh, observation room. I don't have the heart key for the uh, interrogation room. Yeah, because that wouldn't be an electrical fire. No, definitely not. And that's totally going to put out all the fires in the... Oh. Hi. Nope. Bye. Jesus Christ. And go. How you doing, Mr. X? Bye, Mr. X. I'm gonna run. Please don't follow me. The fuck? Was that... Was that a zombie sound back there? Sure as hell didn't sound like any zombie. Yeah, do I even have that much ammo? No, I ain't got the ammo to deal with that fucker. Um. Shit. Uh, I 
don't have the heart key. I've got the club key, and I've got the diamond key. I can get into the records room, and I can get over to the observation room. And I need to get to the clock tower. But for that, I've got to be able to move uh, the puzzle on the first part of the library. Is there a diamond door down here? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay, so where do I need to go? I need, I need to go to the records room. So I need to go downstairs and head that way. Okay. Downstairs through reception and go back that way. And just fucking pray that I got away from that fucker. Excuse me. Still eating pizza. Delicious, delicious pizza. I didn't collect any healing. Go, you bitch. Oh, fuck off. Nope. That, that's death. Wow. Alright then. Okay. Um. Quickly grab two of these. Put the scepter away and the roll of film away. And I don't need the diamond key, so put that away. And then just fucking run. Because X is still coming. Nope, bye. That is the tool for the jack. Nothing else in here, and I have to go out that way. I need I need to head for the operations room so that I can get that flashbang. Fuck all of you, I'm out. Right, yes, flashbang there, grab the herb. <laughs> yup! Oh Jesus. That that was where I had to go. I am so fucked. in so many ways. Third, third floor locker, DCM. Third floor locker was there. It was right here, okay. <laughs> oh, he's right outside.
<laughs> he wants to get in. Is he going away? Oh, he went upstairs, that piece of shit. Oh, I've got a flashbang as backup, but that ain't gonna be enough. Um, I think I'm going to save this and we're going to play something else for a bit. Uh, let me, let me see. Hey, Hugh, are you still there? I'll get in contact with him on Discord. But, uh, I'm going to see if he wants to play some Hunt Showdown. And then I'm going to see about playing something else. But, uh, thank you everybody for watching this. We'll be back. I'll be back shortly with something else either way. But, uh, I, I don't know for certain what it will be. But, uh, we're going to, we're going to call it a 30 minute break. So I will be back around that time, around 7.45. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.